नमस्ते वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल क्यूबिड एजुकेशनल सर्विसेस वी आर सॉल्विंग द फिजिक्स क्वेश्चंस फ्रॉम एस आर एप्टेड यू टेस्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन एंड दिस इज अवर सिक्स क्वेश्चन इन दैट सीरीज दैट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी वन दिस इज बेस्ड ऑन द लॉरेंट्स फोर्स लेट्स रीड द स्टेटमेंट कंसिडर अ पॉइंट चार्ज पॉजिटिव क्यू मूविंग विद अ कॉन्स्टेंट वेलासिटी वी बार इक्वल टू वी के कैप इन वैक्यूम इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ एन इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड डी बार which is e x i cap plus e y j cap and a magnetic field b bar which is b x i cap plus b y j cap unit vectors i j k are in the directions of x and y and z axis respectively as usual which of the following relations is correct and we have to relate uh, the components of electric field uh, with those of magnetic field and the speed v now in this whole problem two words are extremely important and those two words are constant velocity okay they are saying that the particles the point charges velocity is constant now if velocity is constant what are, what is the immediate conclusion which will follow from that if the velocity is constant its acceleration will be zero if the acceleration is zero then the net force acting on it will be zero and here of course we are going to ignore gravity assume that we are going to assume that gravity does not exist so only two forces are going to act the first one will be due to electric field and the second one due to magnetic field and as i told you at the beginning of the problem both these forces can be expressed as a single uh, force and we call it lorentz force okay so what is that f bar is equal to q e bar plus q times v bar cross b bar Uh, well when we study these forces we first study the electric field so we study q e bar force first and then we learn magnetic fields and uh, we understand that only uh, particles charged particles which are moving only they can experience a force due to magnetic field we get this relation q e bar cross b bar correct now the, uh, the, we know that this is zero okay this is a null vector why is that because this Net force is zero, so net force is zero. And will it be zero because of charge Q? No, it's a positive charge. Okay, so we now have got the important relation which we which will be helpful in solving the problem, and that is E bar will be equal to negative of V bar cross B bar. Correct. Q Q will go E bar plus uh, V bar cross V bar is zero, which implies E bar must be negative of V bar cross B bar. and now let us uh, use the determinant form of the cross product to get v bar cross b bar i j k what is v i think it is v k yes 0 0 v and uh, the plane okay uh, so it's not the plane magnetic field it doesn't have any k components it is parallel to x y plane b x i cap plus b y j cap so b x i cap plus b y j cap plus 0 k cap. so it will be i cap into 0 minus v b y minus j cap into 0 minus v b x plus k cap into this will be 0 okay so what have we got here we have got this cross product as negative v b y i cap negative negative positive v b x j cap let's also not forget from mathematics that when we expand the 3 by 3 determinant along the first row along the first row then we must change the sign of the second term in that first row that happens because of the cofactor uh, of that okay that's minus 1 raised to first row second column so minus 1 raised to 3 okay I, you know that already okay so that is important because while selecting the options if you don't uh take this negative sign don't include this negative sign then you are not going to get the correct answer anyway so you have got v bar cross v bar and the electric field e bar must be negative of that is it it that is negative of that so it will be v b y i cap minus v b x j cap and what is electric field it is e x i cap plus e y j cap yes so ex must be equal to v by 
and EY must be equal to negative V BX. Now let us see which of the options is right. These are the four options. EX is equal to VBY. Oh, there is only one option. Duplex. Okay, looks like that. EX is equal to VBY. That is what this is. EX equal to VBY and EY is equal to negative VBX. That also matches with option A. So correct option is A. So a fairly simple problem, but it will test your understanding of the fundamental force. Okay, which uh, not exactly fundamental, but the force that actually governs uh, the behavior of charged particle in electric and magnetic fields.